Hi guys, it's Matt again, and um, I thought I was over my mega collection um, videos, but uh, a few days ago I purchased myself specifically for an integration, and it was the last one they had in stock. Um, I picked up a Mega Magnus. So I'll do a quick unboxing. Super quick. It is a three shot Mega Blaster that takes Mega Darts. It's a slide action. Um, in order to load it, you have to prime it with the slide itself, which sounds kind of noisy. The grip is a little thin, um, but once you've primed it back, it frees up these slots in the top so you can squish your darts in. It has an internal magazine that carries three mega darts. So, half a cyclone shock. But this is intended for an integration which will be coming as soon as I get my workshop done. Uh, once you put your three rounds in, close it, and it's already primed. I'm not going to shoot my griffin. Ah, it performs pretty much exactly as you'd expect from any Mega Blaster. Um, I think my cyclone shock hits a bit harder and gets more range, but um, if you do encounter a jam with the Magnus, I haven't yet, thankfully, but there is a small de-jamming button on the side, which I allow you, once, the, once you've primed it, the slide's locked, but if you get a pin or, well, a, a pen or something, you can push the D-prime button in so you can clear out any jams. Um, as you can see, it'll hold open, exposing my last dart, and then close it back up, and fire. Mag is empty now, the internal magazine is empty, which I'm assuming fits into the lower section and as you can tell they've kept the deco on both sides with the mega line the only thing they didn't do was keep the nerf logo and magnus um, even though magnus is actually um, molded into the into the, the plastic itself um, the grip is comfortable but smaller than most of the other mega uh, blaster grips I've used. Um, it's it's thinner and it feels a little bit. I'd say like a disruptor, but a little bit thinner. Um, it has one tactical rail on the bottom, and not on the top because that's where everything happens. I mean, it would have been nice to have a small rail here um, for an optic or something but it does have standard box and blade sights. Um, and it's got a single lanyard or sling hook on the bottom. Um, overall, it's a good, good blaster. Um, and I, my intention is to use it for an integration. Um, if you intend to use it yourself, just as is, to be honest, the Cyclone Shock has more modability and is much easier to reload. Um, and it also carries six instead of three rounds, which gives it that little advantage. Um, I also find the Cyclone Shock primed to be a lot smoother. Um, 
but I purchased this from um, Arcade Toy Shop. They're a shop that I've been going to for ooh, ever since I was very, very young. And uh, I don't think you guys know how old I am. But let's say I've been going there around 30 years. Um, it's a small family run business, uh, as far as I can tell. It's not a high street chain, it's a small store and I'm not sponsored or anything by them. Um, I paid full retail price for everything I buy there. Um, but I just thought I'd let you guys know. Um, I will be including their email, eBay, Facebook and phone number as well as address. Um, check them out. They're a really nice bunch of guys. And... Um, they can generally help you out. They, they don't just sell Nerf things. They do Lego, uh, Tamiya stuff, um, uh, model kits, Marvel things, Marvel models, figures, Star Wars ships, um, NECA stuff, Airfix model kits, as well as Rival and Italieri model kits. They have a fairly good selection of Lego um, and Nerf as well as um, Air Warriors Blasters they actually had and I got to have a play with one of the um, Air Warriors Blasters that Captain Xavier used in his minigun and uh, I'm considering getting one because they're a very good price and I had a few in stock. That was the last Magnus they had in stock which was lucky because I needed this for my integration but overall if you want to get into Mega Blasters and start off small and don't want a hot shock or a big shock or whichever the Magnus is a perfectly serviceable pistol it's very very well made. Um, sometimes it feels a bit weird squishing the darts into the into the loading mechanism at the top because you think, oh, am I crushing the darts? But no, they seem to they seem to be fine. Um, yeah, so that's my overview and basic just recommendation. Yeah. I would get a Mega Magnus. So I did. Um, I'd quite happily run it on its own, but it is one that I specifically chose for an integration. So, um, but as, as, as a standalone, it's very, it's very good. It's very good. I like it. Um, but please, if you're in the area, um, check out Arcade Toy Shop. They are they're a great bunch of guys, and you can pick up darts, blasters, anything. They've got a variety of different types of darts, from the camo collectors editions to the zombie strikes to Doomlands. They've got some FVJs. They've got other off market brands. Um, Plenty of stuff, and they're all great. They're all great people, so highly recommended by me. So definitely, I'll be going back there to get more stuff. And because they know me, I hope they they'll be able to order things in, and um, I might be able to persuade them to let me review some of their things. Um, so if you like what you see and you want to see some more then hit that like button just smash that like button hit subscribe and if you want to get notified of my forthcoming well my latest video um hit the bell icon and um you'll be updated as soon as i've uploaded my latest video um thanks for watching and 
uh, have fun. And have fun. Take care of each other. And wear eye protection. And recommend. Show more below has details to the arcade toy shop and more details about me and any information like my email address or Facebook account if you want to um, get in contact. So happy nerfing guys. Take care.